Hey YouTube, it's me Turf and I hate the shirt. And I'm here with um, a review of some good Cydia apps that I picked up. Um, okay. First off is Music. It crashes the first few times. I guess there's a fix for that now. Um, it's basically just a free music download. And do with that what you will. I'm not condoning pirating. Um, just telling you what it is. My Y 4.0. I'm told that you have to pay for it, but I didn't have to pay for it. I guess I got a beta version. Any ring, um, right here. Should do. Um, here. Let you choose any ringtone. iPhone. iOS has not yet included that feature. Right now, I have Cuddy's on as it, and you can just tap here. Wait. Done. And let you right here it says unset ringtone. I'm not gonna do that. But then go back up here, tap this, and then it lets you choose another ringtone. SMS sound lets you choose a song, which is probably I mean, to, in my opinion, it's annoying. Or you can go to YouTube on your data, which I turned off, and um, find one. You know. And they also have received ringtones, and you can share ringtones and what have you. Um, and they also, the same menu pops up for email. Um, let's see. Notifier Plus, so like an Android wannabe. And people that want Android, you know, they give you these little things at the top. And you can switch around and stuff. It's really long and complicated, and you have to learn the app itself in order for me to tell you about it. Poof, I'm pretty sure everybody already heard of see enumerating applications and it basically lets you hide application I'm hiding the app store because I don't like the app store um and it lets you choose any uh, icon I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna preview that because it um causes it makes you have to respring um make it mine it's not working for me um basically it changes AT&T or simple mobile or T-Mobile to whatever name you put up here in this little area Area. and it also lets you erase the clock and put it there whatever you write um I, I don't recommend it it just doesn't work for me this is the iPhone 3GS the new model Let's see how it says in say 8 gig um iFile root explorer for iOS uh, it's not, there's no lag at all with that so I, I recommend that iBattery tells you kind of a precise um you know, battery reading. Click this little eye right here and show that to you. Uh, David Husumaku, whatever his name is. Yeah, that's him. You can thank him for that. Um, XBMC is kind of like a, a beautiful, I guess, media app for iPhone. Everybody's been um, kind of hoping for an outsource media player. I don't like it. It's really confusing to use. Um, I mean, if somebody can come up with a Zune emulator, because I like Zune more, um, that's what it does. It's like trying to be epic, you know, like, love me. I think that was upside down. I can't tell. No, it wasn't. Um, yeah, and it lets you choose from streams or your own playlists and things like that. Please go away. All right. Then there's installers. I'm not supposed to tell people that exist. Um, what's on here? YouTube to MP3, which is pretty cool. Um, let you just basically convert as is. Like you pick a video and it lets you convert it. Right now I have my da data turned off. Save battery life while I'm doing this. Um, uh, if you're an old school type of person, they have Game Boy Color and SNES emulators you can get. They run really smooth. I can par yeah, smoother than a um, Android phone, you name it. Maybe not smoother than the, the Xperia, but 
or like an Evo. But it, it, it runs, it, it's up there in the emulator running community. Uh, recently today I had to I restore my iPhone, which is why I have this old picture up. But um, there's another application named Byte SMS, which is pretty much hand sent SMS, uh, which is a quick reply, quick send, quick, you know, all that. Like it'll pop up right here, your message on the lock screen, and you can reply from there without having to unlock the iPhone and all of that. And it saves you battery life because it doesn't multitask like everything else. It just dies it's instantly. From what I've experienced, it might change from person to person. But um, those are just jailbroken apps. Uh, upon request, I might do some actual iPhone apps. But um, I don't even use those that uh, too much, to be honest. I don't really like it, but I guess I can do a little quick thing. Um, Google and Craig's phone and Score Center by ESPN. Those are the only native app store apps I enjoy using, and I mean apps and not games. If you want games, I recommend these are all paid Super World Adventures, Touch Grind, Angry Birds, NBA Elite, and Tesla Wars. Yeah. I mean, I'll play Tesla Wars for you backwards. See if I can do this. If I can, that means everybody here sucks. Because I can play this backwards. It's really graphic though, I don't recommend it for kids, it's like, you can tap somebody and they die, basically, I have to restore my energy, that's not fair for me to have to restore my health and stuff backwards, it's also very loud, FYI, if that bothers you, you can always just turn off the sound at the main menu, alright, here I am, at some... Basically, you just kill everything because you're an epic tower. I'm not really trying right now. I think I'm gonna die soon. I can't tell. Yeah, that's that. Alright. Also, did this cards thing where it's like Palm Web OS where I can kill apps in the card view. I'm gonna kill all of them. Please respond. Oh, that's nice. That's always nice. Good crash to start the day. Yeah, no, it's not moving. Yeah, another negative of jailbreaking. Oh, it's in safe mode. All right. Well, I guess that's that. And it's showing the app app store again. All right. Yeah. We apologize for the inconvenience. The springboard has just crashed. That happens. Um, if you like your phone, don't jailbreak. Um, yeah, uh, so thanks for viewing, subscribe, rate, comment, and FYI, Red Snow, update your baseband for unlocking your phone. Nothing else pretty much does it as well as they do. They, um, flash a iPad baseband to your phone and your phone can be used on any network. And then you have to go into the Cydia, um, network and... I mean, city, you know, source and download Ultra Snow. Um, you can look into that on your own. Uh, also, do a tutorial on it. I don't think it's pretty much necessary, though. I mean, I'm pretty sure other people have done it. Um, yeah, so. Oh, and you can't use 3G, you can only use Edge. Simple Mobile's Edge is pretty fast, so. And I get full bars here. So, yeah. Subscribe, rate, comment, and thanks for viewing.